Hello guys, welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. Uh, today it is bitterly sub-zero cold over in this garage. In fact, I busted the heater out. <laughs> the Forensics Heating System for the first time in years. It's that cold. Um, I'm trying to finish off my, my shelf, okay? My tool shelf. Been dragging on for ages this one. I've drilled all the mount holes into the wall, which was trickier to line up than I think. I've got eight holes there in reasonably thick eight eight millimeter rule plugs that should be able to hold the weight of this. Yeah, yeah. They they'll hold the weight. Um I've had the steel made up here, so you can see this top piece here. I've just got to file it off a little bit. That's going to go along the top, and that's where that's aluminium actually. Um, that's where all the drills are going to go. That piece there, and this piece here, are for this bit, and that's where all the cords are going to go. So that's going to sit underneath there. It's probably overkill this a little bit actually, this cord catcher thing, but it'll work for corded. It'll work for corded and cordless. I've made a little bit of a mistake. <laughs> I'm doing most of it on the back of a fag packet. Some of you guys might have better brains than me at doing this. The mistake I made was the backing for these, the struts if you like. I've got a strut on the end, I've got a strut on the end there, and I've got one strut in the middle, and then two, one here and one there. And obviously that strut in the middle sits right there so when the you hang the polisher over it it's going to catch it's going to catch on this you know the polisher plate is going to hit that so i cut these back and I, I thought there would be enough of an overhang but there isn't and that's just bad thinking from me so what i'm going to do is take that one out and then shuffle these up somewhere shuffle that in slightly so that they really we have the ones on the end and then we'll have one there and then one there so we'll only have four in total Th that should be enough shouldn't it really guys to hold the weight of those polishers <sighs> unreal <sighs> I'm just thinking <laughs> is it going the last thing I want is this thing crashing off the wall in a year's time um, so you tell me I think it will probably be enough because I've cut these now I trimmed these they're probably I'm losing so if I've got the full thing I can have three screws which is going to give me more weight so what I think I need to do is cut another piece here um, which is 7 mil. so I want to cut a 7 mil by 13 7 by 13 so I cut a strip off along there and then cut that down and I'll have two and I'll fit them in so that's it for the time being I'm going to carry on and I'll bring you back in when I'm closer to being finished I've got another little shelf here that I'm probably just going to probably connect down here somewhere my rough plan is to mount the charger this flex charger here yeah that's got the mount screws so I'll mount the flex charger there and I'll have leave a space for another charger in case I ever want to have two on the go and then I'll have a little shelf here and I can just pop the batteries here and then this will be for other tools like the drill this little flex mini drill is really really cool so what you can see now is me just bodging bodging my way along. I'm doing most of this by <laughs> by eye and by hand, which is never good. But this little drill, well, it's nice low torque setting. It's really good.
So guys, I have finished mounting this. I've got, I went went to B&Q's, you know, uh, and bought some bigger screws just to make sure they go all into the wall. You DIY gurus out there, tell me I'm using eight millimeter sockets and I've got uh, rule plugs and I've got 10 of them. I've got 60 mil screws in there that go right the way to the end. I wanted the right size. I feel like this could take lots of weight, but it, it's got lots of weight on it. <laughs> I'm a little bit worried, you can tell. Let me know your thoughts on this. I think it's gonna be okay. Um, I just think it looks amazing, guys. Look at this. So all the tools. The main thing is you've got all these different sizes of tools and cordless and corded and different shroud sizes as well. And the forensic design has catered for that <laughs> more by luck than judgment just about if you're interested i've got my batteries mounted down here um these are tools that i'm going to look at buying later on potentially i mean look at these flex even do their own extension bars and they're machined aluminium they're not the heavy metal you know steel ones they're machined aluminium so there's all these cool tools but obviously you can't just have everything can you so you've got to kind of build it up um for those that are interested this is 110 centimeters along and 100 centimeters down so it's slightly off square um well it's square obviously but it's uh, rectangle you know what i mean it's square as in not skewed <laughs> um these are about 9.5 mil diameter and i've got seven of them there and it's centered so it's 14 by 110 this is 20 centimeters by 110 and this this is seven centimeters high you know these little slats there are seven centimeters high which gives you enough room to make sure the tools can get in especially relevant with tools like that that are quite wide and only just fit in so you need to think of lots of things if you don't think of these things when you put it all together and you test it it will go horribly wrong so you've got to look at what you're fitting and all that i've got gone it's gone reasonably well some of that is to do with luck um and some of that is to do with some small minor adjustments <laughs> uh, got loads of space here to mount the tools at the detailing stuff put some little hangers i've got a few little uh, hangers here which you know they might be quite handy for putting brushes on and stuff like that but i tend to I tend to keep my brushes in my buckets because when I get the buckets out, I know I've got my brushes there, so I probably won't hang brushes. This will be more more power tools, this wall. That's it for this one, guys. Let me know what you think about this. Um, I hope I've given you enough information that if you want to make it, you can. This has cost me about 60 quid to make, something like that, um, all in. If you've got... Uh, most shops have a little metal factor place, you know, that, that produce this and we've got a great one in Bogner. They've got all these different metals and the guys cut it all to size for me. I gave them a template and all the measurements. You always give it, give your measurements nice and clear and then they know what you want. And, and uh, this is aluminium as well. Um, so yeah, it's all, it's all gone really, really well. That's it. Um, thank you very much for watching guys. What's coming soon on the channel? I'm probably gonna do a wash video tomorrow. Um, a wash video perhaps on either one of those cars but the, the 330 is absolutely filthy at the moment um, so that's it for now take care, don't forget to subscribe and check us, join the Patreon community if you want to get involved with all the behind the scenes stuff or uh, competitions and all that sort of stuff it's going really well, so thanks for watching see you soon, bye for now Where was I when you